Hi guys, welcome. So we're doing this tutorial because we didn't want to waste any one of your times getting you all down for a workshop or practice debate. So instead, we have done a video which summarizes all concepts MUN. We hope you enjoy it and let's begin. Good morning delegates. Welcome to the second session of UNHRC at National Youth Model United Nations 2016. We will commence today's session with roll call. Delegates, when your country's name is called, please say present and voting if you're voting or simply say present if you're not. Delegate of Israel. Present and voting. Delegate of Brazil. Present and voting. Hi there. So the roll call is where the delegates in committee mark presence and say whether they are voting or not. Some delegates can choose to say present and voting, which would mean that they are voting, and some can just say present, which would mean that they are not voting. America. Delegate of Venezuela. Delegate of Yemen. Thank you, delegates. Delegates, are there any motions on the floor? Delegate of DR Congo, you have been recognized. To what point do you rise? Uh, motion to set the agenda, sir. Granted, delegate. To what would you like to set the agenda? Uh, to discuss the situation of Israel and Palestine. Right. So setting the agenda in the most basic sense is about setting a topic, right? So when you're setting the agenda, some committees have two topics. But at NYMU in 2016, it's just one topic. So for, for the sake of procedure, you just go and say you set the agenda to the already established or set topic. Thank you, delegate. Are there any seconds to the motion proposed by the delegate of DR Congo? Delegate of Mexico, you have been recognized. To what point you rise? To second this motion, sir. Uh, thank you, delegate. Your seconding has been noted. Are there any objections to this motion? Seeing none, the motion is now in order. Thank you, delegate. A motion has been proposed and seconded, and we will now be adopting the topic, the situation in Israel and Palestine. Delegates, we will now be moving into speakers list. All delegates who would like to include their country in the speakers list, please raise their placards now. Delegate of Palestine, you have been recognized. Delegate of Israel, you have been recognized. Delegate of the United Kingdom, you have been recognized. Delegates, due to time constraints, we will now pause speakers list. But if, if any delegate would like to include their name in the speakers list, please send a written sheet to the head table. Thank you, delegates. Delegate of Palestine, you now have the floor for a duration of two minutes. The speakers list. Delegates, the speakers list is where delegates in the committee are given an opportunity to express the stance of their country with regard to the particular topic at discussion. With prior permission of the head table and delegates of the house. Today we have gathered here to discuss the extremely relevant issue of the Israeli and Palestinian conflict. We as a Palestinian nation strongly children are dying. People are losing their homes. Over 1.5 million Palestinians are denied the right to move in and out of their own territory. Honorable delegates of the House, we need to come to a consensus in order to solve this issue right now because we have to stop the killing of innocents. Thank you, delegates of the House. In the speaker's list, you can talk about things your country has done, is doing at the moment, and plans to do with regard to the subject under consideration. And you can also talk about things that other countries have done which might affect your country's progress to development. Thank you, delegate of Palestine. Delegate, are you open to any points of information? Any and all. Thank you, delegate. This delegate is open to any and all points of information. Are there any points of information for this delegate? Delegate of the United States of America, you have been recognized. To what point do you rise? Point of information, sir. Granted, delegate. A point of information is self-explanatory, very simple. When you want to ask a delegate on the floor a question, you raise a point of information and the head table will recognize it and you can ask the delegate a question as you please as long as it relates to the topic or what the delegate said. But do keep in mind to keep the point of information short and sweet. Honorable Delegate of Palestine, do you not believe that under just means that Palestine doesn't truly belong within the area and that all grounds should actually be given to Israel? Honorable head table, could the delegate please rephrase the question? Yes, delegate. Delegate of USA, could you please be kind enough to rephrase the question for the benefit of the House? 
Honorable Delegate of Palestine, under what just grounds does the nation of Palestine believe, or rather the entity of Palestine believe, that Palestine has grounds to the region that they proclaim justice to? Honorable Delegate of the United States of America, Palestinians were the first occupants of the area that is currently under question. And honorable delegates, it is not the Palestinians, but the actual Israelis who, should, who are in conflict over this area, considering the fact that they were the ones who were under discrimination by the Germans and thus settled in this area by the delegates' country. Honorable delegates of the House, we should not forget that the Palestinians were the first occupants and the lawful occupants of this area. Thank you, delegates. Thank you, delegate of Palestine. Delegate of USA, to what point you rise? Request to follow up, sir. Granted, delegate. A request to follow up is a point that is raised immediately after you ask a question. It essentially means that you have a follow up to the question you asked. Some delegates mistake this as an opportunity to ask a completely different question. However, that is not the case. If you raise a point or if you raise a request to follow up, you make sure that the follow up question is related to the original question you asked. Honorable Delegate of Palestine, are we running the United Nations and the world community on a first-come, first-served basis? Honorable Delegate of USA, the Delegate of Palestine is actually surprised by the Delegate of USA's surprisingly mediocre approach towards international politics, Honorable Delegate. And the Delegate of Palestine finds it hard to believe that the Delegate of the United States of America, who is the advocate of world peace, is actually not, not making a statement about the massive human rights violations instead being committed by the country of Israel. Honorable Delegates of the House, thank you. Thank you, Delegate of Palestine. Delegate of Israel, to what point you rise? Uh, right to reply, sir. A right to reply is very simple. It's used for two purposes. One, if there is an error of facts. If a delegate says something wrong, you can raise a right to reply to correct that delegate for the benefit of the House. And the second reason is you can use a right to reply if a delegate has infringed your country's sovereignty. That means if the delegate has said something against your country or against your foreign policy. On what grounds, delegate? On the grounds that the nation of Israel's sovereignty has been infringed upon. Granted, delegate. The of Palestine, it's all nice to say that the of Israel, that the nation of Israel has been violating human rights, but what about the numerous bombs that Palestine has been dropping on the borders of Israel, killing thousands of innocent, innocent Israelis? Ladies and gentlemen, let, me, let it be remembered here that it's the Israelis that are minor, that, that, that's the minority here. Taking it as a global issue, the minorities have always been oppressed, and that's the case once again. Once again, it's a minority that has been oppressed, and it's easy for the nation of Palestine to say that they have been oppressed. However, ladies and gentlemen, let it be clear that Palestine has had the support of the Middle East for, for a long Delegate, time. Please keep your point nation concise. Of Israel that has been violated, that the nation of Israel's human rights that have been violated over the years. Thank you, Delegate of Israel. Delegate of Palestine, due to time constraints, we will not entertain a response from you. Um, please be kind enough to give in your response in the form of a chit. Thank you, Delegate of Palestine. You may now take your seat. Delegate of Saudi Arabia, to what point you rise? Point of parliamentary inquiry. State your point, delegate. This delegate would like to ask the House with its open to moderated caucus topics. A point of parliamentary inquiry. This is basically where you have a doubt or you have a question with regard to the procedure of the conference or you have a question with regard to what's going to happen next or what will happen in the evening. Um, any question with this regard you can raise through a point of parliamentary inquiry. Yes, Delegate, the House is open, the head table is open to moderated caucus topics. Delegates, um, please be kind enough to send in moderated caucus topics as you all wish. Thank you, Delegate of Saudi Arabia. Delegate of Afghanistan, to what point you rise? Point of personal privilege. A point of personal privilege is basically when you need to raise a point with regard to your personal comfort. It could either be to leave um, the committee to use the washroom, it could be to reduce the air condition because you're feeling too cold, or it could even simply be to ask the delegate at the podium to speak louder because they're not audible. State your point, delegate. Uh, can the delegate use the washroom? Grant and delegate. Delegates, are there any motions on the floor? Delegate of Iraq, to what point do you rise? Uh, to propose a moderated caucus topic, Your Honor. A moderated caucus topic is a topic that is submitted to the House that is of relevance to the main topics that, that is discussed. It could either be a subtopic 
or it could be a topic that could contribute to the debate and discussion of the topic under consideration. State the Monday Caucus topic, Delegate. Um, investigating the UK's position in Iraq as a strategic foothold for the Israel-Palestine conflict. Thank you, Delegate. And how much time would you allocate? Ten minutes with two minutes per speaker. Thank you, Delegate. Delegates, a moderate caucus topic has been proposed by the Delegate of Iraq. Are there any seconds to this motion? Seeing seconds, are there any objections to this motion? Delegate of the United Kingdom, to what point you rise? To object to the motion, Your Honor. On what grounds, Delegate? On the grounds that the accusations that the Delegate of Iraq levels are baseless and have no basis in fact. Thank you, Delegate of UK. Delegate, seeing that there were seconds and an objection to this Maria Caucus topic submitted by the Delegate of Iraq, we will now directly move into voting. All delegates in favor of adopting this moderated caucus topic, please raise your placards now. Thank you, delegates. All delegates against, please raise your placards now. Due to an overwhelming majority, we have now adopted this moderated caucus topic. Delegate of Iraq, by default, you now have the floor. Delegates of the House, when the United Kingdom intervened in the Iraq war, they, were, they had this ulterior motive of intervening in the Israel-Palestine conflict. They're getting into the geopolitical conflict uh, in the Middle East, and this gives them the strategic foothold. This gives them the troops on the ground that allow them to intervene in this conflict and uh, make incredible, um, incredible contributions to the warfare. Um, so, delegates, I do urge you all to investigate this and to question the delegate of the United Kingdom, who was so bold as to object to this Mod Caucus topic, to investigate the United Kingdom's presence in the area. Thank you, delegates. Thank you, delegate of Iraq. Delegate of Brazil, to what point do you rise? Uh, for information to the delegate of Iraq. Deny, delegate of Brazil. This house does not entertain points of information. Um, for moderate caucus topic speech. Thank you, Delegate of Brazil. Now, in this instant, you see the head table denying the point of information raised by the de Delegate of Brazil. The reason being that in moderated caucus um, discussions, delegates are not allowed to ask points of information. There can only be speeches on the moderated caucus topic submitted. Delegates, are there any motions on the floor? Delegate of China, to what point do you rise? Uh, motion to move into unmoderated caucus. Unmoderated caucus. So a motion to move into an unmoderated caucus, right? An unmoderated caucus is basically where all the delegates are in sort of a formal break, where delegates s split into different groups and they come up with different resolutions which align with their country's foreign policies and their country's interests. This is where resolutions are made, and following this, you move into resolution debate. Thank you, Delegate of China. Are there any seconds to this motion? Delegate of Italy, you have been recognized. To what point do you rise? To second this motion. Thank you, Delegate. Are there any objections to this motion? Thank you, Delegate. Seeing that there are no objections, we will now move into unmoderated caucus. Welcome back, delegates. I hope you all enjoyed your lunch. Um, we, will, we, have now, we have received two resolutions, one sponsored by the delegate of China and one sponsored by the delegate of the Russian Federation. We will be discussing the resolution submitted by the delegate of China first, seeing that that was the first resolution to be given to the head table following unmoderated caucus. Delegate of China, by default, you now have the floor for a time span of two minutes. Debates on resolutions. So usually you have about two to three resolutions that come out of an unmoderated caucus, right? Each resolution is sponsored by a delegate and is co-sponsored by certain delegates. What happens here is you have speeches for and against resolutions. It depends on your country's foreign policy and what your country would say in the actual United Nations. With prior permission from the head table and delegates of this esteemed house, uh, drawing your attention to the, f uh, the first and foremost operative clause, delegates, it reaffirms the inalienable rights of the Palestinian people and of the population of the occupied Syrian Golan Heights over their natural resources. 
delegate of Israel to what point you rise? Motion to move into open debate on this resolution, sir. Thank you, delegate. Are there any seconds to this motion? Seeing seconds, are there any objections to this motion? Seeing none, this motion is now in order. Are there any speeches on the floor? Delegates, we are now in open debate. Are there any delegates who wish to obtain the floor? Delegate of USA, you've been recognized. What point you rise? To obtain the floor, sir. Granted, delegate. Delegates, I don't even need to tell you the reasons as to why we should not be voting for this resolution, but I will for fact of purpose and uh, whatever not. Uh, so, delegates, let's really get into it. What did the delegate of China actually tell us today? Thank you, delegate of USA. Delegates, we have now entertained speeches for and against this resolution. Um, due to time constraints, we will now be moving into voting on this resolution. Administrative staff, please take your positions. Voting on motions or on resolutions. With regard to voting on motions, you can either vote for a motion or against a motion. But with regard to voting on resolutions, you have three options. You can either vote for a resolution, you can vote against a resolution, or you can abstain from voting on a resolution. It all depends on your country's interests and how it aligns with your country's foreign policy. All delegates in favor of resolution UNHRC slash 0101 all delegates in favor of this resolution, please raise your placards now. All delegates against? Any delegates abstaining from voting on this resolution? Thank you, delegates. Due to an overwhelming majority, this resolution now passes. That brings us to the end of this tutorial video. Thank you very much for watching, delegates. Good luck. Um, research a lot. And don't worry, everything's going to go smooth. If you need any help, you can contact any one of us um, at the NYMUN Secretariat or Executive Committee. Peace.